And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV. This is Keith again, and we've already talked about the Radeon RX 480 and the RX 470. But today we're going to spend a few minutes and we're going to talk about the baby brother to the two of those, the RX 460. Now the RX 460 was shown off at E3 by Dr. Lisa Su on stage alongside the RX 470. Now the 460 showed that it uses a really tiny little cooler and a small fan and according to the reference PCB there is no additional 6 pin indicating that the maximum power draw for this card is going to be roughly 75 watts. So this is going to be the new de facto standard potentially for turning just about any computer into some type of gaming rig. Now, one of the things that they spoke that she spoke about when talking about this card was aiming it at esports. Okay, well that's interesting because another card in their lineup that they aim at esports is actually the RX or the R7370, which as far as we can tell has a similar uh, stack when it comes to stream processors being that it has 1024 stream processors so it's a very good chance that the RX 460 will also feature the same amount of stream processors which is actually a good thing because if we were to assume that and we were to assume that it performs slightly better than the counterpart with those and we're looking at you know somewhere around 370 performance but as far as performance charts go, we do have a 3D Mark 11 performance uh, results that we found, and it shows the RX 460 getting 7,795 points when it comes to the graphics score. Now, to put that in comparison, the closest video card that we have from AMD in this stack is the R9 380, which scores a good bit more at 12,189. But looking back below it, a NVIDIA GT740, which is roughly around close to the $100 price point that the RX 460 is going to be coming in at, which lands it at 3181 on the graphics score. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people arguing, well, Keith, you know, the GTX 750 and the 750Ti are a much better card for that close to the same price. And I'll agree with that, but uh, unfortunately I don't have one in my possession, so this was the closest that I could get. And this is just for a relative comparison point, but the simple fact that the RX 460 can put out, you know, almost 8,000 points on the graphics score for 3D Mark 11 is pretty impressive. And it shows, while it's quite a bit ahead of the GT740, the GT740 can play these games that you're playing these esports titles, the Dota 2s, the uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the League of Legends, uh, the games like that, it can play those very well. So it would indicate that the 460 should really be excellent and be able to push some, you know, even be able to push a 144Hz monitor with these titles. Uh, now, speaking of esports and the importance of that, what what we're looking at is a card that's focused on esports and they're very open about that they they don't say you know triple a high-end gaming it's esports now just for comparative purposes my workstation here that i'm working on has an i7 6800k and a 980ti in it under full gaming load without any uh v-sync or frame rate frame rate limit it pulls about 380 watts. Well, let's say you go to you're you're hosting a LAN party or a small tournament for an area with the growth of esports. More people are trying to put these on, and you're looking at say 10 people because you've got to have five man teams. So even whether it's League of Legends, Dota 2, Counter Strike, you're looking at two five man teams minimum. If everybody decided they needed to run a rig like my system here you're looking at 3.8 kilowatts or 3800 watts from the wall to power those adversely something like an i5 6400 you know skylake chip and an rx 460 should pull somewhere in the neighborhood of 110 watts from the wall for the total system draw under full load so you're looking at 10 of them 10 of those systems are going to pull around 1100 watts total so 1.1 kilowatts and that's a 71 percent reduction in power now imagine that over this 
the scale of a large tournament that you're hosting or that's being hosted it makes a lot of people more willing to upfront the cost for utilities I know there's people that's going to argue that that's not that big of a deal but it is a big deal when you're hosting large events so it's showing that that this is an important card in the sense that it's going to give a lot more people access to playing PC games than ever before. Before I would have recommended somebody get like a 750 Ti or a an R7 250, 250X that doesn't require an additional 6 pin to see how it is to get into PC gaming. Well fortunately for people who have like a pre-built computer it looks like the RX 460 for around $100 is going to be an excellent way to get into PC gaming. Kind of makes you wonder why they're even selling consoles anymore. Well, guys, if you found this informative or interesting, you know, leave us a like. Feel free to subscribe so you don't miss more content going forward. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video.